Hello and welcome back to the next part of Game of Thrones and if you were watching the previous part you'll know that as the new Lord it was my position and my decision to decide whether this guy is sent to the wall which means he lives for stealing a spear and some swords or do I hack off three of his fingers to teach him a lesson and show them that the Lord will not be fucked with well let's get in and find out what I decide to do thanks for watching I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Oh God, what do I do? If I cut his fingers off, his family may come back and cause vengeance and more trouble. If I send him to the wall. Hmm, I would take his fingers off, but I think I'm going to send him to the wall. Decisions, 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 or should I just show mercy? I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <laughs> There's a thief. Nobody else is thieving. Hmm. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither mm. thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Hmm. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Dismissed. Hmm, so one of them's level-headed and calm and thinks things through. The other one is a warmonger with a bad temper who will get shit done. Oh god. That is a tough decision. That's probably one of the toughest decisions in the game I've had so far. Oh, God. Um. Hmm. I mean, on the comments box below, if you're watching this video, what would you pick? Which one? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. Mm. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No. There must be something else we can do. Yeah, I don't want to kill the small people off. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Hmm. Without the, um... Without the small people, as he puts it, then we are going to struggle with, um... Feeding the troops... Uh... 
now. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... He was banished. He didn't leave. Uh, yeah. Being a drunkard and a yeah. shagging prozies. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. Actually, he was banished. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. And? Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't sure. matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Hmm. You'll be quiet, Pipsqueak. You go to say to me. There'll be no snow. Lord Snow's going to be coming. Hmm. Swords up! You can lift them, yeah? Here he is. Come on, come on! What did I say? Swords up! Slash right! Harry! Again! So again it comes down to, do we want somebody who's going to be strong and get shit done, or somebody who's going to be politically correct and um, keep the peace? Sword up! Swing left! Barry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords! A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Mm. I'll be taking hands next time. Sir Malcolm? You will address me when I approach you. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. Wait, uncle. You can't leave. We need you here, especially now. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, hmm. to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. 
He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Mm. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Kind of agree with him a little bit. What is it, sister? I saw what you did to that man. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. He was a thief. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. And mine alone. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. Mm. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Mm. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. So that's... Mm. Tough one. Have we spoke to Duncan? Um, I think we have, haven't we? No. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord. I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. Hmm. I only hope to give you an advantage. And I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank mm. you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I'm going to have to grow up pretty damn fast, Anna. It seems that way. Um, yeah. I still don't know which one I'm going to go for. Let me know in the comments box below which one you would choose at this point. Obviously, everybody's going to pick their own. Hmm. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Oh, do I need to pick the sentinel now? I think we've been everywhere else, haven't we? He said we should really wait until tonight. Can I not get past here? No. Ugh. I think I'm going to give it to Sir Royland. Purely because we need fighters at this this time. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Royland. Thank you, my lord. But are you sure? Yes. Of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council, my lord, to make his official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Oh, God. Have I made the right decision now? I'm wondering. Sorry, Duncan. Well, the decision, decision, they can say it, it's the decision, oh my god, put your teeth back in, is now done. Maester, 
Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. It is beautiful. It may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. No, never. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Yeah. Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. And so it's decided. Hmm. And with that, I'm going to end this next part a little bit shorter than the other ones. Thanks for watching. This has been Game of Thrones. I shall see you in the next part. Thanks for watching. Great series, really enjoying it so far. Let's see what happens when the small council convene.